The VEP computer simulation reconstructed the vegetation that would have been in each of our study areas before Pueblo people arrived, including the pinyon juniper woodland in the study areas. Then the simulation measured how Pueblo people would have impacted that woodland as they went out and collected wood to meet their daily needs. In this way, the simulation evaluates the extent of deforestation that was caused by the centuries-long occupation of each study area by Pueblo people. The farming populations in this area depended on wood for a number of reasons. Of course they had to cook their meals. Of course they had to heat their houses. They also had to make houses and wood was an important construction component of those houses. So it's, it's a question that we had when we started this simulation as to whether or how seriously the populations would deplete the woodlands in this area. And the woodlands in this area are not terribly dense, they're not terribly large. For the most part, it's pinyon and juniper trees and they're not huge. And what we found in the simulation is that the wood depletion was really not quite as severe as we had imagined it would be, but it was not insignificant either. So when households moved into an area, of course they could get wood right next door. And in the simulation, households would gather dead wood from the immediate area as much as they could, but when that is depleted, then they start to cut down living wood. And of course, if they're building a field in a particular place, they cut down the wood there as well. We found that in many areas, we found that on average in the simulation, uh, at the peak population, people were having to go perhaps a kilometer for wood or maybe a little bit more in some places. So that's a fairly heavy drain on people's energy budgets to have to do that, but it's in and of itself it's probably not a motivation for leaving this landscape.